Hi everybody, it's me, Lindsay Malloy, and welcome back to my channel. And this week I am doing a plan with me um, for the week of May 21st through the 27th, which I'm excited. This weekend is the uh, Memorial Day weekend, so it's gonna be a long weekend. Um, so I'm excited to plan out this. Um, this week I, of course, I plan out um, what kits I want to use each week. Um, but this week I'm gonna use a kit by Minted Papery. This is the Blush Doodle Kit, and it's just very simple. Um, very just muted colors, which I just absolutely love. Um, I think they're, it's just very simple and abstract. So very excited to use this one. Um, and yeah, I am going to go ahead and do the speed through and I will chat with you again um, after that. All right, so getting started here, um, same thing that I usually do every week. Um, I like to have my little moments um, or a this week um, header banner over at the left and then the weekly kind of checklist thing. And I'll put a happy moment or just something I'm thankful for or even just a memory. Usually it's mostly memories that I put in there um, on the left. And then I'm heading up um, each day with a pink today header and I'm adding on the date dots for the date headers. These date headers are actually a little bit longer, too tall um, for this section. So I actually um, place them down anyways and I will be cutting them, cutting off the excess. Um, so it works perfectly that it um, doesn't cut off the words too much either when I cut them off. So that's, that's okay. Um, and then I always save those little bits of um, scraps if I can, if they're not all squished together or sticking together, um, just because I like to use those for filler or maybe um, if you need a little bit of a separation break or something like that. So I am just adding down the full, um, full box checklists um, to mark the number of calls that I have that day for work. Um, and then this week, I wanted to use all three um, habit trackers that came with the kit. Last week, there was a weekly habits tracker that had four on there, and I actually really enjoyed using all four. Um, so, I don't know, maybe that's something I'll continue doing moving forward, um, is trying to use as many habit trackers and track as many things as I can on there. I also have another tracker in my... Um, in my Foxy Fix, that is a printable tracker. Um, if you're interested, it's a women's printable tracker. And um, I will be talking more about that at the end of this. Now I'm just going through and adding in my um, dinners. I like to mark what we had for dinner every night. I like to just... It, it helps me look back and see if we're making healthy choices or, um, I don't know, I just like tracking our dinners. And that's usually something that I um, spend the most time on every, week, every day is our dinners. Um, now I'm adding in half boxes and quarter boxes and then my to-do lists. Um, the half boxes are for the days that I go to the gym and then the quarter boxes are days that I want to go on a walk or do something else active um, around the house. And then every day I add in a to-do header and a to-do checklist. Um, so that's what I'm going through and adding in there. I don't mind that they're um, kind of lining up in a different way. And then in most of these um, days, I won't be able to fit a full box, so um, which I don't mind too much. Usually when I don't have, um, I'm not able to use all the full boxes because I've definitely got call heavy days coming ahead. Um, I like to use the washi strips. 
and the extra full boxes that I'll have left over at the end, um, I will probably just use in my Erin Condren spreads, which I, I'm still flipping between deciding whether I want to use it just for YouTube, blog, and the Sticky Fox business, or if I want to use it as a memory planner. Um, I'm still trying to work that out. Right now, my current um, monthly planner and my um, weekly and everything that I'm doing right now um, works really well. So I haven't really needed another place to write down everything for my YouTube or for my um, blog or anything like that. But I feel like I'm lacking like the drive to really focus on the sticky fox right now, which I definitely want to change um, this this summer when I feel like I will have a little bit more time to spend focusing on it. Um, so yeah, um, now I'm just working on the weekend banner. I'm going to use these kind of airy, um, they're little triangles and little X's and dots, and then use that little weekend banner to drape over it. And I really like how that looks. I love that there were some extra little script words in this kit too, like Sunday fun day. You don't usually see that in a lot of kits, so I was pretty excited to see that. Um, and then usually I put on a list for the weekend. I put um, just a check checklist um, on there and um, I use that checklist for the entire weekend, not just Saturday. And sometimes I put memories in there or put things that I need to do. Um, and then I'm just putting down this little TV um, and I'm be marking Westworld and um, Fear of the Walking Dead. Um, I thought these cute little laptop and all the little icon stickers were so cute. Those little, um, that little edit script sticker is actually from Heather Ann Plans, um, which I'm loving using those. I need to find some more script or even just make some more script and release them in my own job. Um, script words that are just simple words that you use every day because I really love how they look in your planner. Just cute little scripts. I've also been using this little note section as a dinners area. Um, and that's where I plan next week's dinner in no particular order, usually. Um, so I just like to have a place where I'm, um, for next week, I can plan out what I'm going to put in there. Um, then I just use some wash or a part of a full box to cover that up, adding the date covers on there. Um, and then just going around and adding a couple little more little bits and pieces here, like trash day. Um, adding these little, covering up the to-do and work to-do, because I just want that whole section to just be a to-do. It doesn't need to be separated, I feel like. And um, I really like these little triangle designs. I think they're so cute. The little doodles. I love them. That's why I, I, I was drawn to this kit, and that's why I bought it. So it's pretty cute. Adding just a couple little um, bits and pieces here and there and um, adding in this cute little planner with the triangles and then another script sticker from Heather Ann Plans and just a couple more bits and pieces. And so yeah, I think that about covers everything um, to walk you through. All right, so that is everything before the pen. Um, I used a couple stickers um, that weren't in the kit. These are the script stickers from Heather Ann Plans that I used, the film sticker. Um, there's a little planner girl from um, Pumpkin Paper Co. And I think that's it so far. Really, my character stickers I use throughout the week. Um, and I can show you a previous week, but um, that is everything um, before the pen. Um, I will go back and show you so far what I've done with 
my week so far from last week, um, which is almost done. Um, it's the end of Thursday today. I usually um, film on Thursdays or um, Friday mornings or something like that, and I plan the next week. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. I just added a couple um, icons there. I think the week prior was actually the, my favorite week so far, um, as far as using a bunch of little icons um, everywhere. I definitely need to get into more using more icons. Um, I think I'll do that more this week. I've got quite a few more icons coming from Happy Dia that will kind of fit more of my to-do list items. Um, so yeah, I think so far this is really cute. I really like how this looks and um, it looks kind of muted, but at the same time it has this dark, um, almost like navy black, gray, blue, purple thing <laughs> going on um, that is really gorgeous and makes everything pop. Um, so far I have been using this little list area just kind of as a whatever list. Um, I'm not sure how I want to keep using that though because I don't know 100% if I need this section. I almost want to create my own printable um, just because I feel like this page right here is going to waste for me um, and I would like to use it for something else. I just, I've got to figure out what that is. Um, but so far, um, I'm really loving these printables by Justinia's. I think they are pretty much my favorite ones that I've seen so far. I haven't wanted to try anything else. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you're following my Instagram at LRayMalloy. Um, or at the Sticky Fox. At the Sticky Fox is where you will find my planner photos. I'm trying to do more on El Ray Malloy, um, but if you're looking for shop photos and things like that and updates, follow at the Sticky Fox. Go ahead and just follow both of them. Go for it, man. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's go over also the stickers that I have left over. I have the bottom washi left over. I was thinking about using them. Um, on this spread here in the bottom um, on the notes because I mean it would also take up a bunch of the notes section without me needing to um, really do anything with it but I, I don't know I think maybe I might just add these washi strips at the bottom probably these little X's um, or this plaid one um, Mainly for the reason for that is I have been saving my washi strips in my kits because I don't plan on purchasing kits. I plan on using a lot of leftovers and Happy Planner stickers in my new Erin Condren um, since it will be kind of like a YouTube blog um, and a Sticky Fox planner. So I don't want to... I probably won't be sharing too much of it, but I want it to be a really a brainstorming place. But I do want to use these, um, the bottom washi and washi tape to kind of spruce it, spruce up the page. So that's where a lot of my leftover stickers will be going. Um, so yeah, I saved these, have lots of washi pieces left. I have two full um, checklists, full box checklist, checklists left, and then a couple bits and pieces of some left over there and then lots of um, headers left over still some little things um, three full boxes and then two bits of a full box and another quarter box um, these numbers I definitely save these I use these in my undated um, in my undated fitness planner so I definitely um, will not be throwing those out I definitely use those um, and lots of icons that are super cute um, but I don't know where I would use some of these I definitely save stock up on these doctor ones because you I never have any doctor icons I need to make those or purchase them or something um, these dots I definitely use for things um, I never use bill do stuff because I don't know, I have a whole system that I use for bill do, my bills. Um, and then lots of functional items. Um, I had no paydays 
for these weeks and I don't know which night is going to be movie night but I will definitely be using that sticker by the end of the week and um, this little spray bottle for cleaning I'll definitely use that at some point um, so still we'll use some of these stickers throughout the week I plan very functionally I don't um, plan in here and then not use it so all of my to do's are really written the day of or that night um, sometimes I don't have enough to fill in because I don't know I'm a little bit scattered sometimes with my work to do's anyways um, so yeah and last but not least I did want to share with you something new that came out in my shop um, before I do that let's put this back in my planner. <coughs> All right, so something that I've been working on that I wanted to share with everybody is a insert that I have created that you can buy in my um, shop right now in the sticky fox and it is a cycle tracker um, my husband and I are going through infertility um, processes and you know it's really hard to deal with but um, and it's also financially straining you know so I did want to create something that would benefit me also make me just feel a little bit more excited about it um, and also to share with anybody. I mean, you don't have to be trying to get pregnant to use this. This is a cycle tracker, um, tracking your periods, tracking your symptoms, and seeing how they relate. Um, so this, I just released this insert in the Sticky Fox. It is B6 size. I do plan on coming out with some additional um, inserts that um, for this cycle tracker specifically for your um, bullet journal. So the Leuchtturm size, which fits most no notebooks, and um, I am considering other sizes of inserts like these as well, um, and maybe, probably definitely some, um, the large size of the Kiki K, because I do have that to measure. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do all sizes, because I don't have all planners to measure, um, but yeah. So the way this looks, and I um, set up kind of a mock-up um, of this so you won't see my actual one because that's private information that I don't really want to share with the world um, but here's here is a mock-up version um, you have each month on a page um, and there's gonna be 18 months in this insert and at the top you have your cycle days the you can input your weekday um, just by hand the month um, I just put a little shorthand here and then I put the date here. Um, you have a space here to show where, when your period is. Um, it'll be, you know, ideally your period would be starting at the front here and then you can also of course mark spotting and things like that. Um, there's a space here to create your own key. Um, some ideas that I had um, for you to track. Um, there's plenty of space down here to track and um, rectangular boxes to input any key items that you would use. Um, I just did little brownie faces. Um, for example, I've got an ovulation test, pregnancy test, cr um, headaches and cramps. You could track anything, days that you took your vitamins, um, days that you exercise, days that, you know, um, just really anything that you wanted to track in here. I think it's so important to track your monthly cycle because there's so much that it can tell you about the way your body is working, when things are not feeling so great, you know. I mean, just tracking when I get headaches, it's around my period. So I know around my period time that, you know, I need to make sure I have some Excedrin on hand and drink lots more water. Um, and try and get out some of those toxins and and um, definitely um, go easy on my workout so I don't do like power days at the gym or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Here's what um, it looks like on all the pages. Um, 
It does go up to 35, so if your cycle is longer than that, um, I am still trying to think of ways. I can probably do like 35 and then do the second month over here. So if you are that person, um, send me a message on Etsy and um, I can set something up like that. But um, usually most people are around 28 days to 35-ish um, max. So, but if you're more than that, of course, that's what I plan on doing. Um, if I am longer than 35, I just go on to the next month and use some of these. Um, and then you can just say, cross these off and say 36 or something like that. So that's the way that I plan on using these. Um, it does start off um, on the first page right here. So you can um, do this on every week if you wanted to or every month I mean um, if you had a longer cycle so that's another way um, if you didn't want it to be all on one page or um, you didn't want to have this renumbered um, so yeah that was kind of a rambly um, introduction into this new release and I hope you enjoyed it and again it is just this piece right here so it will be this insert it is a printable um, so there will be nothing that is shipped. It comes with two options. There's one with this pink font that says cycle tracker and then it also comes in black so in case you wanted to print um, the cover page on a um, laser printer you can do that and then you can foil it um, anything like that so but yeah it will be four dollars um, if you want to learn more about infertility um, and get just a couple more details about why I decided to release this insert. Um, I will leave a link down below to a blog post and you can read more about that. Um, otherwise, I wanted to say happy planning and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe so we could see you next time and I will see you next time. Bye.